Hi all. Okay, so I've been working on my lights here. Uh, I want to put another light here in the middle. So, uh, best thing I could figure was uh, I put a piece of steel here. And then these will get bolted back in the same spot. This one came off real easy. Uh, this one I had to cut off. I just cut it off with a hacksaw. It came off real easy with a hacksaw. Pretty thick bolt for a hacksaw. But uh, I was able to get it loose, but it wouldn't come off the whole way. So uh, Ernie just held the the light here and then I used the hacksaw on it and it came off in a matter of minutes. So uh, 48 inch piece of steel. Uh, let's see here. One and a half. It's a quarter inch thick. So a quarter inch thick because I didn't want it bouncing around. Uh, one and a half inch wide. I kind of guessed at that. I, I probably could have went two inches. And uh, 48 inches long. I was going to cut this off here, but when I put the lights up there, the lights hang way over here. So uh, it doesn't matter. So I, I didn't even bother to cut to cut off the excess. Okay. So these holes drilled real real easy. You can see I got these holes in there. Just use a sharp bit. Slow speed on your drill bit works better when uh, cutting through steel. Slow speed. And then I made two. Two small holes here, and uh, I'll show you what I'm doing here. And uh, I just happen to have these. I bought them a long time ago off off uh, Rough Country's eBay site. So. What I'm thinking is, I'm going to put these like, uh, so what I'm thinking is, I'm going to put these right here, and mainly to go out front, so I have more light, and I put them here because if I need to, I can get out of the truck and angle them out, you know, if I put them out here, if I angle them out, they just hit these lights. I wouldn't get no extra light. But if I put them here, if I have to, I can turn them out just a little bit so I get a wider light. So that works out good there. And uh, I have another round set of lights, but I thought I'd save those some of the other ones break so no special reason on using the squares the squares are only uh, 2800 lumens so the round ones are like twice as bright so I figured the square ones wouldn't block my view as much too because they're smaller so another 2800 lumens out front I think will be enough for driveways, you know, small areas. For big areas, I got that light up on the roof. I got the idea from watching a, a video on YouTube. The fellow put the light here. Okay, so uh, these, that's 18 inches. From here to here is 18. From here to here is 18. 
so uh, it was pretty easy. The only hard part was uh, this bolt was all rusted and it gave me a hard time and I ended up just using a hacksaw on it. Old hacksaw too, it wasn't even a new one, so it came off fairly easy once I got the hacksaw on it. Okay. Okay, so these lights, you know, they come with their own harness, same as the other ones I put in. And uh, I'll do a video when I install these. Okay. And then these, these were all rusty, so I'm kind of glad I took them off. So I sanded them down, painted them with that rust reformer paint. You know, rust reformer paint from Walmart is supposed to stop rust. So that's a pretty good tip there. Same on this side. I cleaned them up pretty good. Okay, so uh, I'm going to sand, sand the bar down some, get it painted, and then next time we'll uh, install them. I'm going to go get some new bolts. Uh, one bolt I had to cut and I figured that one it looks good but I figure I might as well replace them so I don't have to worry about it rusting up again okay see ya bye hi all okay so next step is uh, get these things ready and uh, I bumped into something I didn't expect these things were loose so uh, they've kind of got an odd setup here. I thought they would be on the outside, right? If they go on the outside of here, you know, clamp on to here, it wouldn't be so bad. But they got it so it goes up inside here. And then they got these dinky little screws here. Then you got to get a lock washer, a, a dinky little lock washer, and a nut up inside there. So I figure I'm going to have to use a tweezer. So, you know, I bought these like a year ago, and they've just been sitting downstairs on the table. And uh, one nut was missing. So I found the size at Home Depot, you know, three stores and about an hour of running around. They cost like a quarter. So uh, I don't know if I lost the nut or if it was missing when I got it. So the cord is the bottom. I suppose, yeah, yeah. Well, I suppose it doesn't have to be. I think it would probably be better, right? These things are angled. So, I suppose that would be going toward there, right? I what, have no idea what's going on. So, you can see how these things are angled some? So I suppose that would be forward. Right? Then it would go down here. Then you could angle them like that. I guess. I, I don't I wasn't really paying much attention when I took them off because I didn't think it was gonna matter. Okay, so I tried using a regular nut and bolt, but you can see how they got it blocked off down inside there. And you got to have a real small nut to go in there. So it's a tight squeeze. I suppose if you didn't take them off, then you wouldn't have to worry about it. But uh, <laughs> so you can see what we're dealing with there.
it lines right up with the hole. Okay, I, okay, I got one. Okay, so. Put the uh, Allen wrench in here like this. So the Allen wrench on there is really the key. It, it gives you the control here. If, if you could hold that. Let's see what I'm doing. Well, I'll get in there with this thing. So they don't quite fit in that little gap there. That's one of the originals, so it fell down in a place. There's the bigger one. There's the bigger one. It doesn't quite fit down in there. Okay, so I'm working down inside here. I got the washer on. I, I gotta put I have to push the bolt back a little bit to get the nut on. and not knock the washer off. That's not back far enough. Don't take them apart when you get them. squeeze This side's tightened up, and that's why it's it's pulling it out of whack here. That's awful. <laughs> okay, got it. Now we just gotta tighten them up. So, so if you look down inside there, you can see what we're fighting with. There's the hex bolt. Goes through there. And then there's sticks out through there. They got part of this uh, heat fin here cut out. And the lock washer and the nut. So, <laughs> so I had taken those off because I wanted to put another washer up here. And uh, that's when I discovered I was missing parts. It's like a little nightmare to fool around with. So.
I want those angled down as much as possible. So. Okay, so uh, I'm going to put those lights on here now. And then I'm going to mount this back on the plow. Uh, I sprayed this this piece of steel with uh, rust reformer. And the one I bought is just like a flat black. It's supposed to stop rust. And then I used uh, I used rust oleum clear coat. A clear gloss and uh, that made it shiny and I'm hoping that gives it a little strength I know with the other stuff you barely bump it and it, it rubs off so this seems this seems to be a little better slow down the rust some okay so I got these screwed on the bolts what I did was, I was going to use these black plastic washers, but uh, I just happen to have this left over. It's a piece of rubber from Lowe's. It's over in the, uh, by the plumbing stuff. It's about five bucks. It's been laying around here for a while. So I made two uh, square pieces of rubber here. And then drilled holes in the rubber, put the bolt through it, and now these aren't going nowhere. Okay, so that's probably what I'll do with the with the uh, Meyer plow lights too, because those always shifted around. I just happen to bump them, and, and they'd move around. I got the idea. Because uh, one of the lights had a big rubber washer. But the one on that side, I think the washer was missing. So uh, I had bought, ru I bought rubber washers at Tractor Supply. So uh, I might use these. Or I, I might make my own. We'll see how it goes. Bought new bolts. At tractor supply they were only like uh, two bucks they sell them by the pound so they were really cheap I think they call it grade A they're the strongest bolts so okay so we'll go outside now and put this on the plow okay so I got that bar put on went pretty easy it's just putting in two bolts I'll have to wait till I put the plow back on and then I'll line them up. I did a video last year or so on how to line the lights. We'll have to do that again. Uh, it's not it's not back as far as it should go. So they look like they're pointing down a little far but I think once we get the plow back on the truck, I think it'll be okay. With those rubber rings in there, the lights don't shift around. So that was really annoying. Slightly bump them and they'd move. And uh, I had even tightened them up when I did that video on aligning them. And it didn't help, so that's why Meyer had that rubber in there. I think that one had the rubber. It was like a big rubber washer, but that one didn't have the rubber washer, and that was the one that kept moving. It, w it would shift around, so. Okay, so you can see here, this is what I was talking about earlier. It hangs over a little bit, and that's no big deal. I'm, I'm not worried about that. I think it's better. It protects the lights in case something bounces up, a big piece of ice or something. So that's a good thing. You can see I put a rubber washer here and then I put one here. Okay, so I got a bolt 
big washer, then the light, then the big rubber washer, then the steel bar, then another rubber washer. That one probably is not necessary, but I thought it stopped it from bouncing around as much. And then down below, and then down below, just a lock nut and a nut. So I wanted to put another washer in there too, but uh, because of this L bracket, I couldn't get that washer up in there. So, so with the nut and the lock washer, I'm sure that's fine. I think that's the way Meyer had it from the factory. So it's good, good to go. There's the new lights. Then same thing on this side, bolt, big washer, light, big black washer. These big black washers are from Tractor Supply. There was one tray there that they had a bunch of washers in. So. And then the steel bar and then another black washer. And then down below here, same as the other side. down below here same as the other side lock washer and nut so you can see they aren't going nowhere now so I'm glad I took them apart because I was able to paint these up these were all rusty I cleaned them up got the rubber washers in there so they don't bounce around they, they don't shift every time I bump it that was really annoying you just barely bump it and it would move go just barely bump it and it would go out of alignment that's because it was missing the rubber washer okay so with these here that'll be next running the wires. I got lucky these are short cords so I'll probably just run it along with the main power cord And the harness will come out here. That's the main cord for the uh, plow. And then one will go over to the battery, and then the light switch will go up inside. Okay. That's just a cover that we made. It seemed like every time the plug got wet, the plow would act up. A baggie would probably be enough. But uh, that's what I had on it at first. The, uh, the cuts on the bottom, so the water that runs off the top. Okay. Okay, so uh, that's it for that project. All we got to do is align the lights now, and. Uh, Truck's going in to get that squeak fixed next next week. So after we get that squeak fixed, then we'll uh, put the plow back on and line up the lights. Okay, see ya. Bye.